Hey, I'm Jocelyn and this is the Eats of Texas. Texas is huge and it's got a huge number of foods that you have to try while you're here. So I'm gonna start out with the first one and that is barbecue. Barbecue in Texas is brisket for the most part. Um, I, I can't tell you, I never eat pulled pork when I come to Texas. It is only brisket. It is so tasty and so good. And don't be afraid of those places that have really long lines. Well, that just tells you it's really good barbecue, right? And most of the best places are little hole in the walls. And quite frankly, I think that that is universal. The best barbecue joints are like little tiny hole in the wall places with a big line outside. So in a lot of places, the thing that goes with barbecue is baked beans. Not in Texas, you've got ranch beans. And y'all, I can't stand barbecue beans. So I'm always really happy to come to Texas and eat ranch beans. They're a little more savory, not so much sugar. They just got a little bit of kick to them and they're so tasty. So get a side of ranch beans with your barbecue. Another Texas eat that usually comes with barbecue is Texas toast. And I know we have Texas toast all over the country, but why not get Texas toast while you're in Texas? It's just really thick bread sliced and toasted to perfection, right? So um, get yourself some Texas toast along with barbecue and beans. Texas is also known for its chili. Typically, they say that there's no beans in Texas chili. I know Texans who put some beans in there, but what I have noticed is that it is meat heavy and um, you know, it's got a lot of good spices and things like that, right? And it varies by chef, um, by by grandma. Every, every single person makes their chili a little bit different, but it is meat heavy here, not a lot of beans, and it tends to be a little drier, not quite so soupy as you'll find uh, chili in other places. And you absolutely can't talk about chili in Texas without talking about Frito pie. Frito pie is technically the right way to do it is to take a little bag of Fritos and put your chili in there and then eat from the bag. But really you just gotta, you gotta have some Fritos and some cheddar cheese with your chili and there's your Frito pie and it is so good. Adds some like good texture, a little extra salt. It's just so tasty. I love me some Frito pies. Beef is king here in Texas. You absolutely are gonna see all sorts of steaks on like every single menu you can think of. You will find steak and really great beef dishes. Um, so obviously here I am standing in the midst of this whole cattle thing in, in Dallas. And then, you know, the stockade, the stockyards in, uh, in Fort Worth, which are really cool by the way. You know what? That's just what it is here. Bovine are big. So get yourself some really good Texas steaks. So no list of Texas foods would be complete without Tex-Mex, obviously. Tex-Mex um, is not Mexican food. Please don't think it is. Tex-Mex is an amalgamation of things. It's kind of just a little bit of everything really good flavorful food and if you find a good Tex-Mex place somewhere um, just go and buy buy a bunch of little things and kind of try like a broad gamut so you get like a lot of different tastes because it's so different and so special and unique to this area um, you need to try a lot of it so do that and definitely don't miss the queso the enchiladas and the refried beans that's like kind of staples of the Tex-Mex stuff and it'll be different than you get in most like Mexican restaurants and things so check it all out. To go along with the idea of Tex-Mix are uh, breakfast tacos. You have to have breakfast tacos while you're here. They're really great. Um, little tiny local joints are the best places to get them and also gas stations. I know that sounds crazy, but don't pass up really good tacos at breakfast from the gas station. I promise you'll like them. Then there's chicken fried steak because you know, you're in Texas and you have to do everything with steak, right? So why not chicken fry your steak? Um, chicken fried steak is a staple all over the place. You'll find it on tons of menus, usually served with white gravy and mashed potatoes. Really good stuff, go ahead and get you some of that too. So an interesting thing that um, came from Europe and is huge in Texas are kolaches. They're all over the place. Um, there's a huge place called the Czech Stop between Dallas and Austin. Uh, that has really good ones. But you'll find these all over and it's it's interesting because they're a little different than what you get um, when you're in Europe. Uh, but they're, I don't know, they're just a little different and they're tasty, so you should really try them. The official state pie of Texas is pecan pie or pecan or however you wanna say the word. Uh, it's, you know what, it doesn't matter how you say it. I say pecan and I say it tastes good and you'll believe me when you have some. 
as with all Texas lists, Bucky's has to show up, right? So you have to get some beaver nuggets at Bucky's. Um, there's a ton of other things. I even have a video on the five eats of Bucky's. But when you go to Bucky's, you have to get the original sweet beaver nuggets. They have other ones now too, but the original ones are something to try. Texas, being its own country, also has its own fast food. There's Whataburger and there's Torchy's Tacos. And um, you know what? My kids are like huge fans of Whataburger. I love Torchy's. Um, they're, they're originally, I think, from Austin, but you'll find them in other places too. Um, but definitely, those are some really good fast food joints when you're in Texas. And Liam wants me to tell you to make sure to get some spicy ketchup when you're at Whataburger because it's the bomb. So take it on Liam's word. So something our local friends um, insist upon us having is Bluebell ice cream. It's a big thing here. There's all different great flavors. And I know you can get Bluebell in other places sometimes, um, but Texas size Bluebell, that's, that's what they serve us. I, I think I have a picture somewhere of our friends serving us bowls and they're like, it, it's like a pound and a half of ice cream. So Bluebell is a big thing here. So as an aside, here's your bonus. Anything cooked in the shape of Texas, whether it's waffles or you get chocolates or whatever, I, all over Texas, you just find things, foods, in the shape of Texas. So apparently that's something you have to do just because it's there. And then there are the drinks. You must have Big Red, Dr. Pepper, margaritas, uh, Shinerbach beer, and all the other little local breweries. There are tons of microbreweries around here. So um, those are the big things. Of course, Tito's Vodka is from, from around here too. But there's tons of drinks that you have to try when you're in Texas. And, and don't worry if you don't have Lone Star. It's okay. The locals will not be upset if you don't drink the Lone Star beer. But you should have one when you come to Texas. Okay, so there's that. I don't drink the beer, but he does, so he knows. Okay, so that's my very big list of Texas foods. I know there are a hundred others and you can put them down in the comments below so that everybody who comes to Texas will see all the, all the other things that I have missed because I, I could keep going, but this would be a 20 hour long video if I continue to talk about it. So just y'all come down to Texas and get yourself some food, some of the things on this list, and maybe some other things that you haven't tried yet. All right, from Dallas, see you later.